Well, look what we have here. It's the very latest Bunsen Labs. Oh, yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Does this look polished? There's nothing I like better than a decent, well-polished, open box distro. I'm a big fan of open box. Can't configure it myself, so I really appreciate it when the people who are doing the distribution that I'm using do a really good job of it. And this, of course, is the natural successor to the legendary Crunchbang Linux. This is Bunsen Labs and I'm running it in the live session. I could install from here because most of the tricks that it has up its sleeve, at least initial ones, are during the install where it offers you new software to install. You go through a questionnaire, do you want this, do you want this, do you want this, do you want this? And do you know what, it's brilliant. It covers all your bases at the point of install and that's really good. But I'm not gonna be installing it on this machine. I'm just running it live here for the purposes of having a look at it again. All right, so this is what you get when you boot up the live system. You get welcome screen. This is the live, this live operating system allows you to test Bunsen Labs without making any changes to your computer's hard drive. Among other things, it can be used to check hardware compatibility, your network connection, monitor, keyboard, etc., to perform system recovery or to work anonymously on a public computer. So it is geared just as much as a live system as an installable one. Keyboard shortcuts for some common applications are listed on the desktop. Boop, there you go. Super is also called the Windows key, because that's what's printed on it. Right click the desktop to access the system menu, or use the keyboard shortcut shown. Uh, main menu is just Windows. Bingo, there it is. Or you just right click and you'll get it. Um, on the live session, your username is user and your password is live. You already have sudo permissions. Now I know this because I've installed OBS Studio so that I could record this video. So what can I say? What can I say about it? It's Debian based. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's show you. Uh, no, do you think it'll have HTOP? No, 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 we don't want that. We need, oh yeah, yeah. Let's give it inksy. Oh, it's already the newest version, brilliant. Okay, let's go big. And then uh, this will tell us what we got. Okay, so this is telling you a lot about my machine, but it's also saying what it is. It's the Debian base. It's kernel 510.020 AMD 64x8664 uh, 64 bits, open box 361, Debian 11 bullseye. Um, num, 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 num. It's saying that there's 1.3 gig used. Yep, that's probably about right. Now that is massively high, or is it? This is a live system, this is not installed, so the whole thing is in RAM. Okay, and we're also screencasting. So yeah, that is not a true indicator of the performance of this system once installed. And anyway, 1.3 gig. If you take off what is being used. Let's see if we've got HTOP on there. We have. So, what is using all of the memory? OBS is using a shed load. Yeah. OBS is using the most of it. Without a doubt. So we're looking at about a realistic about 700 meg for a live system. Not bad. Not bad. If this was installed, it would be probably about 300. So go figure. Okay. So look, we're running it as a live system. Okay. 
So on the right, we've got a conkey, which tells you the host is Debian, how long we've been up, what the RAM usage is, the swap usage, the disk usage, and the CPU average. Now, that's saying 26%, but again, we're screencasting. It gives you the shortcut keys, out F2 to run for the run dialog, and that is this. Okay. Out F3 gives you the alt menu. This, this one at the top. Where you simply type, I don't know, uh, Okay, type term, you got LX terminal, set term, or EX terminal emulator. Escape exits out of this again. All right, super brings the main menu. Super tab brings you the client menu. Okay, so that will take you between desktops and apps. Um, super T gives you the terminal. There you go. Super W gives you the web browser, which I would imagine is Firefox ESR. Here we go. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer to boot. Again, like I say, running in live mode. Uh, Super F for the file manager. Boom. What is it? PC Manifem? I would imagine it is. Tsuna. I like the theming. Do you like the theming? I think it's pretty good. Uh, Super E is the editor, whatever the editor is. Genie, okay. Super M, the media player, VLC. And again, beautifully themed, very dark theme, but nice. Uh, Super V, volume control. Okay, and there you see the mic. Hey! That's good, it's reassuring. It's telling me that the levels are good. <laughs> Super H for the task manager. Okay, so it's H top. Uh, Super L to lock screen. Super X to log out and print screen for a screenshot. Okay, so let's explore the menu a little bit. Okay, so you get this. You get the welcome right at the top there. You've got your run program, your terminal, your web browser, your file manager, your text editor, your media player, as is already listed here in these shortcuts. Quick screenshot and upload. Then you get your utilities. Take a screenshot, which is using XFC4 screen shooter, Scrot screen shooter, and an imager upload straight away. You've got the Blob themes manager. Right. Blob, Bunsen Labs, open box. Yeah, Blob. So you can save or restore settings for all of this stuff. I'm not going to do anything with this. Because it's a live system and there'd be no point. Okay. SSH. You can do SSH server. Install the open SSH, SSH server. So the, you can install the open SSH server or you can edit this server user config. You've got your remote dock, uh, desktop. You can install the viewer. Now this is the thing that it's inherited from Bunsen Labs. A lot of the menu ent entries are to install the software. They're not actually for the software. They give you a direct link to install it. And once installed, they'll be listed there without saying install. And it won't install them every time. It will be just there on an installed system. So again, you've got the places thing. So this will just take you to various places around your file system. Your normal home stuff, documents, downloads, music, pictures, templates, videos, etc. You can also go to the bin folder, config, dot config. So these are all the hidden places that you can go to. And what is this? This is my video that I'm recording now. Okay, you've got a list of recent files. You've got your preferences. Where you can edit the auto start, edit the environment. And you've got the manuals, Bunsen Lab Session and XDG auto start. You've got your open box stuff, JG menu, keybinds, compositor, conkey, edit your conkeys. We've got conkey editor there. You don't have to have this one. You can choose a different one. Move a conkey. Okay. All good stuff. Your tint two stuff for your, for your taskbar. You've got your appearance controls. Okay, so it's drag and dark that we're using as the widgets. 
Um, the colors, the icon themes, etc. Papyrus, Bunsen, dark black. Mouse cursor is DMZ. The font is what? Not really saying. Okay. Where were we? Yeah, preferences, blah, 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 blah. Appearance, reload GTK, font configuration, your wallpapers. Okay. You got some of the old ones here. Put some lab fever room. Let's apply that one. Good grief. I'm not sure I like that. There's the lithium ones. Yeti. That's a little bit too cold. So yeah, this is Bunsen Labs Brilliant. Um, they're all named after gases or elements or something. I'm not a scientist. I do not understand this stuff. Okay, your notifications, you can choose to configure how they appear or don't. You've got your power management, you've got your D menu stuff here, your GM run stuff, AR and AR R screen layout editor, and the manual for it. Under your system, you've got a quick system info. There's your Inksy there. Printers, you can install printing support. There's your task manager H top, install favorite packages, synaptic package manager. So, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I like this dark theme, it's really, really dark. Um, so yeah, let's see what the repos are. Literally, the Bunsen Labs own repo and Debian Bullseye, Bullseye Security and everything, and it's all instantly main contrib and non-free. So if you're a free software fan, if you like everything to be completely um, FSF compliant, forget it, because you've got, uh, you know, uh, not free as in freedom stuff, should we say. But it's good for functionality, all right? Okay. Then you've got your help and resources. Loads and loads of information for all the parts of the system, even Debian. You know, the background system, absolutely everything. Really, really good, very thorough, and everything is covered. How to edit the menu, about Blob, Conky and Tint2 manager help, about Bunsen Labs auto start, about Bunsen alternatives. Keep going, this is good. This is, this is a library in itself. Display your keybinds, brilliant. And now we get to the list of applications. There's your accessories. You've got your application finder and archive manager, Bunsen Labs Cli Editor, Bunsen Labs File Manager, Bunsen Labs Text Editor. This is all the stuff from the Bunsen Labs repos. Uh, you've got your bulk rename, catfish file search, clipboard manager, calculator, GTK hash, calculator, yeah. <laughs> GTK hash, LibreOffice, LightDM GTK plus greeter settings, nitrogen for your wallpapers again, PyCom, quick screenshot, run program, normal screenshot, Thuna file manager, X terminal emulator, XF burn under development. You've got the client editor, the text, uh, text editor, Gini, icon browser, graphics, Punslabs image viewer, document viewer, quick screenshot, and Ristretto image viewer. Multimedia, Bunsen Labs Media Player. They've got their own media player. It's VLC, that's not their own thing. Hey. Got me excited for a minute there. OBS Studio I installed. You've got the PN Mixer, you've got Pavu Control, VLC Media Player. Why? Why? Why is that listed twice then? Perhaps I installed it as well with uh, OBS. I know it comes in. Ah. Crazy. Yeah, feel where I was. Blah blah blah. Internet, advanced network cigarette configuration, FileZilla, Firefox EXR, ESR, hex chat, transmission, uh, your BitTorrent client, X web browser, X web browser. Nice. Um, okay, you got your document viewer, LibreOffice, LibreOffice Calc, LibreOffice Writer. You can install extras if you need. Under the settings, you got all this stuff again. And under system, you've got GDebbie, 
You've got your conky stuff, gigolo, GM run, G parted, H top, these two essential quite honestly. Uh, JG menu, light GM, GTK plus greeter settings, LX terminal, synaptic essential as well, system profiler and benchmark, Thunar file manager, tint 2 and X terminal emulator. Then you've got your lock screen and your exit dialogues. So this is your Bunsen Labs. It's an open box system using Conkey and the Tint2 and the D menu along the top. And of course the typical open box right click menu there. Loads and loads of Bunsen Labs goodness. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't really say any more. If you like this sort of thing, fill your boots. This is the new one.